Hello everyone, it's Marina from Say Something Crafty. I am here to do a share with you. Um, here I have a, a journal I have recently made and it's called Memento Mori. And it is, um, uh, I would say 11, 11 and a half by seven and a quarter. And I sculpted the cover. I did a lot with the cover actually. I did a sculpt on the cover. I, woo, <laughs> I, uh, put some, um, Hello everyone, it's Marina from Say Something Crafty. I am here to do a project share with you. This is a really fun project that I just finished up. It is my Memento Mori book, and I had a lot of fun making this. It took a lot of stuff just to do this cover, which I really enjoyed doing. I sculpted it with epoxy sculpt, and I made a skull here, and then it's got the tentacles, of course, and then up here and down here are um, amethysts. I got some amethysts and I really wanted to incorporate them in this journal so I put them on here and then um, there's a book plate here and it says Memento Mori and I put it's got a leather spine and I put some rivets in here and managed to do a crackle effect on the cover I have these little things up here which really really cool and yeah I mean it's really really cool I don't the spine is two inches, and that's the back. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, so I'm just going to do a flip through for you. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm going to have um, some tips and trips. This is no bake sculpt that I used on here, and you don't have to bake it. You can sculpt with it, and it reacts to water while it's wet. Once it's dry, it doesn't react to anything except for like. I don't know. I think you, if you get it really hot or do something weird, then it'll probably react. But like, um, once it's dry, it's hard on here. It's durable, and this cover is quite heavy, of course. But it's very durable, and I really like using it and working with it. But it is epoxy sculpt, and I have a video um, with some tips about the products that I used uh, down below, so um, you guys can check that out. But um, I think. That's pretty much it for the cover. I mean, I love it. I love how it turned out. I used uh, Pearlex on the cover for this green glow in the eyes, which I love the subtle green glow. It's so, it's perfect. Because I didn't want it to just be black. I wanted it to have like some depth and it, that really popped with the depth. So that really helped. And then the, um, I also used Pearlex here and um, on the tentacles. So uh, here, I have some extra images and just like some cut like some cutoffs in here. They're just like extra images that'll come with it. And I also made this little piece. I don't know if it's like a I guess it could be like a necklace pendant. It can be um, added to the journal. It could be anything. But it I mean anything you can think of to use it for, but I just I made it to go with the journal. So it kinda Yes, it's just a weird little piece. I had a whole bunch of extra sculpt, so I added that too. I mean, I just added, I wanted to use the rest of it, so. Um, it really does go with the journal, though, so. That's just in here, and it'll be with, uh, the recipient will get that. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it and do a flip through for you. So, I don't know if this image was, like, He's an artist, if you can see here, he's an artist, and I don't know if this is supposed to be like a tortured artist thing, but it's got this guy back here playing music, a, a dead man back here playing music, and I really like it because it's, it's dark. I really think it went with the theme. And I just put it on here with some washi tape, that way it can be removed, because I really like this, I really, really like this paper that I put on here, and I didn't want to, I didn't want to cover it up too much, but um, I went through my, um, I went through my encyclopedias and I found a a lot of, not a lot, I found a few um, death and life type scenarios or descriptions in there so I put that in here. It's from the encyclopedia, it's just the, yeah. And then I just have some tags that I made, so let's go in there. And then in this paper bag I have some more tags and mortality from my encyclopedia. And I made it, I backed it onto coffee dyed paper so that way you can use it for notes or writing or pictures or whatever. 
And so that just goes in the paper bag. And here is one of my Penny Dreadful cards. Uh, they're tarot cards. You know, they use tarot cards to um, read your future, past, etc., etc. So I put some of those in here. I really thought it was fitting, and it went with the journal. So um, I have a lot of coffee dyed paper in here. It's very large <laughs> coffee dyed paper. I mean, I uh, cut this stuff from an easel roll. And there's paper bags. I have another Penny Dreadful card. And it's the Three of Swords. And this is what I use on the spine. It's some leftover book, um, book cloth. And it's got paper on the back so it could be used for a photo mat or writing or whatever. And this says, a toast to your coffin. May it be built from a wood of a hundred year oak tree that would be, that which shall be planted tomorrow. I thought that was cool. I really like that. There's a lot of pages in here, and in the center of each of the signatures, I just have a little piece in here that I put these together. I like to, when I make journals, I like to leave some extra, in case, I don't know, in case the recipient wants to change something, and it's not just like snipped all the way down there, because I know a lot of people don't really carry around sewing or uh, book thread. So I kind of leave it long so they can, if they need to tie it for some reason or they want to change something, they can do that. There's some coffee dyed parchment in here. Here's some, the other side of the bag. You can just empty, put whatever they want in there. I mean, this is, I really like these because they can be used for a book of shadows. They can be used for all kinds of things. And this is um, some sari, some multicolored sari that I um, attached some charms to and there's two so it's a bookmark it's a there's two bookmarks in here and this one's purple one's got a little key on it and I just put it in here anywhere and then here's a banshee I also put uh, a couple of harbingers of death in here and harbingers are warnings that you know death is coming so I don't know if you guys have heard of hellhounds but hellhounds are really cool because like Okay, like they have the black shuck, and then they also have, um, there's a lot of different hellhounds, like um, Dip, there's, of course, like the ones that you might know of are Anubis and Cerberus, but like they all have their own meetings, they guard, they're like guardians of the underworld, like they're uh, symbols of, the harbingers of death, so, like banshees, banshees are harbingers of death, so there's an old picture of a banshee on here, and then another card. And then I like to put also like little snips, like leftover pieces of paper in my journals because sometimes you don't feel like writing a whole page or you don't even want to use a whole page. Sometimes I'll use, uh, I made a journal with just, just lots of snippets in every other page. There was one of some of these and they're really cool like when you attach stuff to them. They're fun to use. I would have to, I'm going to have to show you guys so you get an idea. But some tags that I made and memento mori. Some more tags and an image. And I know like it seems like creepy and stuff, which is cool because I like to make creepy journals, but also I liked it because death is also a symbol of rebirth and life. So I kind of like, I really like this image because it just goes further into that concept which is why I kind of have like some florals in here but I didn't want to make it I, I really thought about maybe putting some more like florals and stuff in here because you know flowers are like a, I don't know a symbol of rebirth and life so I was thinking of putting some of those in here but I didn't want to go too overboard because I don't know I don't I want to stick to what my original inspiration was so there's subtle there's subtle um you know, florals in here, subtle symbols of life. <laughs> and here's a hellhound. And then I have a couple of tags that I put in here. And the world. And then, of course, there's epitaph. And that is basically, you know, what they put on your tombstone. And here... I have some more ephemera. 
and that is Wheel of Fortune. And it says, Death twitches my ear, live he says, I am coming. And so I really thought this was a really cool image to put in here. I really like this image. And there's another one in here I really like, like it's really, really cool. So I have some really interesting concepts in here that I really enjoyed. So I really, I like enjoyed in working with this theme. I've never done this type of theme before. I've done dark and creepy and really creepy, but um, not like this. So there's a death head moth and he's he's got a skull on him but he's like not dangerous or anything <laughs> but I like it so there's two of wands and three of pentacles and then here and then there's I like this image it shows how um, you know there's even if there's death there's always life afterwards or before or during or something moths and butterflies and I don't know if you guys know this I really like moths I enjoy moths more than butterflies and I think it came to from when I was little moths were were fuzzy and they I would always find them at night and I would like I would um, pick them up and carry them around and I would always find the fuzzy moths or the fuzzy caterpillars I never found I mean, I found a couple of, of regular caterpillars, but they weren't, I don't know. They just didn't seem as interesting to me. And then I grew up and I found out that butterflies actually eat dead things. They eat blood. They're like, <laughs> and they're not as strong as moths. Like, they're very weak compared to moths. So, I, I, I thought that was cool. Just a little bit of information. And then here's Queen of Swords and Queen of Cups. And another tag. I really like these images. Some of these images are really cool. And there's four signatures in here, and I believe there, I don't even know how many pages I put into each signature. I just kind of picked out the pages that I wanted and added those in. And then here's some smaller tags. And and this is equinoctial, and it is a time of astronomy, or it's, I don't know, it, it's, you have to read it. I'm not going to read the whole thing right now. <laughs> but it's really cool, so I, I, I liked it in this book. But I thought this was cool. This is a really cool image. This is one of my favorite ones. I don't know why. It just seems, it just really gets my attention, and it seems like a really deep message <laughs> and then here's another one and over here some more tags and it says memento, memento mori remember that you will die a reminder of mortality or the inevitable transformation of life to death and then so here's a judgment card and then I like this one. It's got the skull guy in there and he's sniffing a flower. He is smelling this rose. He's wearing a suit. Very nice. So there are touches of color throughout the journal, which I am really glad I did. And then here it's the star and ten of cups. And here's just a piece of paper with some washi on it, so you can write on there, and there's a tag, and there's death. Actually, this is supposed to be like a symbolism of life and death, and they just go hand in hand. So these two are like together. So that one is life, and that one's death, but they don't ever really separate. Some more stuff to write on or use as mats. And then here is the other one. And it's got a really pretty pendant here that I attached a creepy hand to. 
so that is the other bookmark. And then I put ledger paper in here because there's always it there's a ledger like there's always more stuff that you wanted to do. There's always more that you I don't know how to explain it, but I felt like it was appropriate to have a ledger in here. <laughs> and then here's the hermit. I like how that turned out. It's pretty. And the other side's got a couple of tags and three of wands. And then the back.